Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to export from Lightroom. All right. So basically, if you have selected the works you want, and in my case, I put my works into a collection, and I was very specific on that collection. I could have done a smart one, right, and just said, hey, go fall, find all of Johnny's work, right? Um, but in my case, I put mine into a special one called Lightroom Lesson. And now that they're in here, I want to export them. So I'm going to click on the export uh, command down here, and you have different options of where it's going to go. Now it's going to export to the hard drive. I could also do an email or a CD. In my case, a hard drive is the way to go. Um, if you did an email, it would open up your default client. And this is very much like the way you could export back in Bridge, uh, way back in CS6. And so I'm going to tell it to export to a specific folder, and I'm going to choose that folder. I'm going to put it in a folder, let's do on the working drive, and we'll make a folder called and Lightroom Lesson. So anyway, so this is the folder I'm going to choose, and we'll select that folder. And you can put it into a subfolder. Um, if you just chose it, it would, you know, obviously do that. I'm going to tell it not to do that because I already chose my folder. And then it's going to have some options here. Uh, you can tell them to resize if you wanted to. And the neat thing about this is you can tell it to just do the long edge, make the long edge be a particular amount of pixels or the short edge be a particular amount of pixels. In my case, I'm not going to enlarge, so I'm going to check don't enlarge. You can also edit, tell it to do some sharpening. If you know this is going to end up on the uh, computer screen, you might do sharpen for a specific situation like the uh, monitor, or if you're going to put it on matte paper or glossy paper. I'm going to leave my sharpening off. We'll assume that I've already edited all my pictures, although I certainly haven't. Uh, you can add metadata. You can tell it to include some. Uh, you can tell it to remove location info. You can add a watermark. And you can even have it do some other things like show it in Explorer or if you're on a Mac, show it in Finder when you're done. So this is a quick way to go through. You can tell it to rename. That's the last thing I wanted to make sure I showed you here was you can tell it to rename and we can say, hey, do a custom name and a uh, original file number. So that's going to bring up, you see how that's, very similar. If I turn that off, it was 04, 14, 14, 4989. Well, I can tell it to do um, file name and sequence, date and file name. I can create my own, right? So we're going to say um, the image name. So we'll, we're going to go ahead and um, create a new one here. So I'm going to put in, let's see here, we'll do insert file name. So it's going to do the the file name. It's going to put in, let's see, file name number, number suffix, right? You can add in a sequence, right? And depending on where your cursor is, you know, you can push these to different spots. You can delete them. You see how that works? Um, and so you can adjust these things. You can add in the title that was in the metadata. So you can add in a whole lot of stuff here. In my case, I'm just going to go with the uh, custom name and the original file number. So the custom name is going to be um, Lightroom Lesson, right? And it's going to do a lowercase extension. And what this is going to do is spit out a whole bunch of JPEGs. Um, let's see here. Under file settings, I can change the uh, format to, let's see, let's do uh, the original format. So it's going to actually spit out raw files here. So it's going to actually um, spit out raw files inside. So it'll all be called .rw2s. Um, and it's doing a lowercase. I'm going to go ahead and say uppercase for that so it keeps it. And let's see, I think, I think that'll get the job done. Yeah. All right. 
and we're going to go ahead and tell it to export. And that will take just a moment. You'll see it exporting up here in the top. And there it exported those files that I had selected. If I wanted to uh, export all of them, right, I could simply go in here and do a control A, and that selects all of them. And we can do the same thing. This time I'm going to do it and show you how to export with uh, existing files. Let's see, existing files. And we will skip. So you can tell it to overwrite without warning, or choose a new name. We're going to tell it to skip any ones that are already there. So now it'll do the same thing. This time it'll do all 48. And in our case, because it already had nine, it only had to do 39. And it'll go ahead and complete that export. And I'll have those files ready to go. If I wanted to submit them as a JPEG, I could have just as easily put them as a JPEG. It's up to you and to what uh, form you put them in. And that's it for this video.